Now we move, now we move on to sulfonation. Sulfonation would be carried out on exactly the same line as alkylation, acylation and nitration. All we have to worry about is how sulfonium ion will be generated. Like how nitronium ion is generated. Now sulfonation can be carried out either we take uh, S2SFO they call it fuming S2SFO I'll tell you what this fuming S2SFO is this produces benzene sulfonic acid that means sulfonic acid group is at the top of benzene ring that is benzene sulfonic acid and this fuming, fuming means there's something coming out like fume that is S2SFO plus SO3. Sulfur trioxide gas is dissolved in S2, SO4 and that S2, SO4 keeps coming out and it appears as some fumes is coming out that is called as fuming S2, SO4. So fuming S2, SO4 is used to carry out the sulfonation. Yeah. Sulfonation can be carried out even if we take only S2SO4, even con concentrated S2SO4 can carry out the procedure of sulfonation. Like when we have only concentrated S2SO4, that means suppose we uh, take two molecules of S2SO4, then in absence of any other acid or any other base, we have a concentrated sulfuric acid. That means there is no other base to which sulfuric acid can protonate, protonate, protonate its hydrogen. So as we saw in case of nitration, in absence of any other base, the same acid or the other acid has to accept this hydrogen or the proton given out by sulfuric acid. So in this case, when we don't have any other base or we don't have any other weaker acid, the sulfuric acid protonates its hydrogen to one of the other molecule of sulfuric acid. So this produces sulfonic ion this will lose H plus and the other molecule of sulfuric acid will accept H plus. This oxygen will generate plus charge because of making of coordinate bond with hydrogen and likewise as you can predict from here this water molecule will leave out as it is a good living group and we have seen lots of instances where water molecule leaves out good living group leaves out when a molecule is stable it tries to have independent existence and they they are very easily removed of out of the bigger substrate bigger molecule so water will come out taking the taking away the electron of this bond and becoming neutral and moving out in the form of h2o and this will create a plus charge on sulfur because the electron the sulfur elect sulfur's electron in this bond will also be carried out into the orbital of oxygen so this will create SO3H plus. This is sulfonium ion. A sulfonium ion will be created like this and this sulfonium ion will go and act as an electrophile for the electrophilic substitution on benzene as the mechanism will be the same as we have seen. But sigma complex will be formed and then that sigma complex will have resonance and finally regeneration of aromaticity will be there and sulfonium ion will be added on the benzene giving us benzene sulfonic acid. Now the important thing that we must understand here is the sulfonium ion is quite stable. Now, the reason for its stability is this is sulfonium ion. The first point is the plus charge on sulfur. In nitronium ion the plus charge was on nitrogen. Sulfur, sulfur happens to be very less electronegative but is rather electropositive element. If not electro, if not highly electropositive it is not very electronegative. That means it won't mind having plus charge on itself unlike oxygen, fluorine, chlorine or nitrogen. So plus charge on this sulfur is not so deadly unstable. This is quite stable. Another point that we have to look out here is there are three oxygen attached to sulfur. That means there are three electron donor attached to sulfur. 
Now the electron from all these three sides will gush into the orbital, empty orbital of sulfur, mitigating to a great extent the unavailability of electron in that orbital. And to talk in our technical term terminology that we use in text is there will be three resonating structure of this molecule. For each resonating structure, we'll draw a coordinate bond with oxygen and sulfur that will create a positive charge on oxygen. If to draw the first resonating structure, let's bring this electron in here. This is how you use the curved arrow. You start from the electron source and you end up in the destination where the electron is going. So you start from the orbital and you end up in the region between the two atoms because that's where the bond will be formed. That's where the electronic density will be residing. So this will create a plus charge on this oxygen because it's giving its own electron and that will that will remove off the plus charge on the sulfur because it's gaining electron from the outer source. So this is one of the resonating structure. Now this oxygen is not unstable because it seems to have plus charge but this plus charge is because of the coordinate bond. And the oxygen was having two electron, both electron was its own. After making coordinate bond, the two electron are still in the axis of oxygen. Oxygen has not lost that electron. The only difference is the previously the both the electrons were only of oxygen. Now it is shared between sulfur and oxygen. So oxygen is not losing its electron. The plus charge is only to signify that in the coordinate bond both the electron is because of oxygen. So this is not unstable. This is a RS in which the octet of all the atoms are completely filled. So this is a stable resonating structure. Likewise, you'll draw two more resonating structures making bond from two other oxygen. So altogether, there'll be three stable resonating structures in which all the octet of each atom is fulfilled. So this is a stable ion, no problem there. So this is not unstable. So reactivity of this ion, of course, will be less because this is a stable electrophile or a weak electrophile because it is stable. So sulfonium ion is a weak electrophile. Now there will be some factors that will uh, Now there will be certain consequences of the sulfonium ion being weak, a sulfonium ion being stable. Weak means it is not reactive. For electrophile, weak in attacking, so it is stable. So we are calling it weak electrophile, but that doesn't mean that it is bad. It is mean, It means that it is stable. Now, let's see what will be the consequence for the sulfonium ion to be weak electrophile or the sulfonium ion to be a stable ion. The first consequence you can very vehemently think of because in the RDS or in the last step of this electrophilic substitution as we have seen and you can very well recall once the attack of electrophile has been there and there has been resonance in sigma complex now to restore the aromaticity what happens hydrogen was previously there on benzene ring now this electrophile has been added on this carbon now to restore the aromaticity, there has to be a bond formation in between these two carbon. For bond formation, we require two charges, plus charge is already there. We need to generate a negative charge on this carbon. Negative charge can be generated if either hydrogen or this electrophile that has been added have, will, will move out, keeping its electron into the orbital of carbon so that carbon develops a negative charge. So in this case, since H3SO3H plus sulfonium ion is a stable ion, so the chances of moving out of sulfonium ion is considerably high, higher than any other ions or any other electrophile we have seen before. Because if you remember what we have studied before is alkylation. In alkylation, the plus charge was on carbon. That was not stable because there was no scope of resonance here. Generally, there's no resonance in this alkyl group. All you have is carbon, 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 single bond. Next was sulfonium ion, uh, sorry, a silenium ion. Then the silenium ion, we had resonating structure. We had a stable RS in which 
the plus charge was on oxygen, but the, the oxygen octet was complete, so this was stable. But then there is only one stable resonating structure, not 3,3, three, as in the case of sulfonium ion. So the sulfonium ion is more stable than this acylenium ion. Nevertheless, acylenium ion is also stable, but acylenium ion is not so stable that it stands to be removed from the substrate to regenerate aromaticity is high high enough that it will compete with hydrogen. But in case of sulfonium ion, and not in case of nitration, you had nitronium ion. And nitronium ion, you have plus charge on nitrogen, third most electronegative atom. And by no way this is stable. So in case of nitronium, there is no problem of reversibility. That means in the final step, nitro nitronium ion is not going to be removed off uh, rather than hydrogen. But in case of sulfonation, sulfonium ion is a stable ion and quite stable to be removed off instead of hydrogen. So what happens is there, this, this sulfonation is a reversible reaction. So the proper way of representing it will be through a arrow showing reversibility in the reaction. So this is a reversible reaction because sulfonium ion is stable. So if we sulfonate benzene, we'll get sulf benzene sulfonic acid. And this reaction, if, if you heat it, if you heat benzene sulfonic acid in presence of H2SO4 and water, then we get back sulfonic, sulf sulfuric acid and benzene ring. And the reason why we get back on heating is, when we dissolve SO3 in water, then sulfuric acid is formed, releasing huge amount of energy. And since sulfuric acid is, when, when sulfuric acid will be formed by this sulfonate ion, SO3H, sulfonium ion, SO3H+, and the hydronium ion coming out from water, then huge amount of energy will be released. So this reaction is can be can proceed backward, and hence this reaction is reversible. So because of stability of sulfonium ion, sulfonation is reversible. So it is not very easy to keep sulfon sulfonium ion in the benzene ring as it is, even if even if the reaction even if the content in the reaction is heated up. So there's always a chance that when we heat the reactant, the, the solution in the reaction, then there's always a chance of this, this reaction to proceed in the backward direction and the sulfonium ion to be removed off from the benzene ring. So generally when we have sulfonium ion or the other stable ions like sulfonium ion and benzene ring, generally the solution is not heated. In case it is heated, then the reaction, those groups, those stable groups will be removed off from the benzene ring. This can be a curse, this can be a boom. Now the curse is like if we want to add sulfonium ion, then there's a chance of removal of sulfonium ion in case we shake the solution hard or in case we heat the solution. But we can use it like a boom as we will see ahead. We can use it like a boom, uh, suppose, uh, okay, let's, let's complete halogenation first and then see how we can use this reversibility to our advantage.